Hello viewers, Super GT here. We have update 1.17 dropping on Thursday the 23rd of June to Gran Turismo 7 and it could be the best one yet. Now earlier in the week we were teased this image by those over at Polyphony and many guessed that this could be the legendary Suzuki Escudo. But let's jump into the trailer and here it is. We have the big free update for June 2022. Watkins Glen International, what an amazing circuit to have added into the game. The Suzuki Escudo, it is that car, absolutely legendary. We have another Suzuki as a Group 3 BGT car. And then we have this old beast, the 1932 Ford Roadster. So three cars, including an iconic, legendary car in the series. And then we have Watkins Glen. What an amazing addition that is. It's a very... Pleasant surprise, it must be said. Did not expect to see that coming. And also, of course, the Suzuki Escudo. I mean, absolutely legendary car. Now, of course, whilst it is a legendary car, there is something about it that is quite peculiar in the sense that it's the Pikes Peak car. Pikes Peak is a hill climb in the United States. And it turns out that Polyphony actually have the license to the hill climb. So it's kind of a bit of a shame, I suppose, to not see that added alongside the Pikes Peak car. But this is something we'll hopefully see later because this license that they have is not being utilized, of course. Pikes Peak wasn't in GT Sport. It's not in GT7. Hopefully it will be. So if we jump over to the details page on the Gran Turismo official website. So yeah, the June update, 23rd of June is arriving. As for the time, usually it will be early morning in terms of American and European times and then have some more information about the cars so first off the 1932 Ford Roadster we have a hot rod that could be interesting for drag racing I can see some potential with this thing maybe even drifting I want to see uh, Cyrus Rex do some cool things with this and then it's the real big boy the one we've all been looking forward to the Suzuki Escudo Pikes Peak Special 98 cult classic within Gran Turismo fans I think most of us who have played the old games know this car and we'll be trying to tune it to, to do over 400 kilometers an hour trying to do wheelies you know all that jazz i'm sure many of you like me would have spent many many a moment in our childhood trying to drive this thing as fast as possible in the most ridiculous ways so it's really good to see it back the only thing i would say about it is that we don't know what class it's going to be in within the game maybe group x or group one group one might be a bit of a push but I can't really see where else it would fit in. Probably Group X. Uh, therefore, you probably won't be able to race it too much. And it'll be interesting to see next week's daily races as to whether or not it's, it gets included into one of those. So I think it's fair to say that one of the key features of this car is, quite frankly, the absolutely ginormous rear wing. And you can't really miss it, can you? I mean, I mean, let me just zoom in for you a little bit. It's, it's right there. For those that can't, can't see it, it's, it's this big thing here. Uh, creates almost infinite levels of downforce so from one suzuki to another we have the suzuki vision gran turismo vgt it's a group three car which is being added into the game and that's quite good in the sense that suzuki only has a group four car doesn't have a group three car already and therefore with this car being added presumably you will now be able to use suzuki in the fia seasons uh so that's you know that's a good addition i suppose it'd be interesting to see how it handles how it drives who knows because the bop is a bit all over the place at the moment could be an amazing car could be rubbish could be in the middle i'm just going to say all the possible options just to really cover myself and then if we scroll down a bit more we have a bit more information about watkins glen now i think the key thing here is which configurations are going to be added and it says here it is possible to select from Watkins Glen long course and the Watkins Glen short course layout. And the difference between the two is that one is long and one is short. And you can't say this channel isn't educational after incredible knowledge like that. Okay, but the actual difference between the two, it says it here, is the boot section that is bypassed in the shorter layout. Okay, so let's take a look at those two layouts then because we have, this is the traditional layout of Watkins Glen the bus stop chicane and then you go down into the boot section here and according to the wording it says the short layout will skip the boot the boot being this area here so you come through the outer loop you go straight down here into the chute the left hander at the bottom of the hill and therefore 
the short version will cut that out and it should look something like this where you, again you do the chicane and then you have a slightly longer right hand and then cut through i think it's otherwise known as the nascar layout and then you go back towards the penultimate corner and then the final corner now it doesn't make any reference to sort of this layout where the bus stop goes straight through or this one the short layout where the bus stop goes straight through again doesn't make any reference to that so as it stands i would assume that to see this layout and this one both with the bus stop chicane and there's a couple of images here if you look at this one this one shows the bus stop chicane and as you can see on this layout on this image at least the tires are in place there on that part and then there's these barriers here so on this image they are taking the chicane and they are not taking the straight and everything i'm seeing here points towards that that straight there not being an option but let's not forget that uh gran turismo 7 has quite iffy track limits at the moment anyone who's raced at daytona will know that oh my This could be a bit of carnage, should we say, in terms of track limits. And uh, I think that, that'll be one to look out for, uh, especially when this is a daily race or an FIA race. We also have this image here. So that's the bus stop up there. Then you have the long right-hander. And this is the split between the short and the long course. So the short one going straight across here. Then the long course going round to the right uh, into the boot. And then we have this image, right? Now, who can forget this fabled location? One of the most famous loca or infamous locations in Super GT folklore. Because let's not forget, this is the incredible scene of shameful rammers. And you know, I'm a specialist in this exact thing here because I know what's going to come. I know what's happening. So I know the deal here. Off you go, mate. And you too. So we scored a double whammy there. And we can we can reuse the good old Fast and Furious meme here. Perfect use for it. Oh, good times. So yeah, Watkins Glen, I think it's a really cool track that they've added into the game. I want to know your thoughts. Is it a track that you would have liked to see? Because I think for me, I think it's cool to see more American circuits. Watkins Glen is one that I would have liked to see. Sebring, Road America, Road Atlanta, those kinds of tracks I think would be really good to see in the future. And I'm looking forward to seeing how this one plays out online. I'm presuming it'll be a daily race next week. So on from Watkins Glen, there are some other little bits here. So there's some extra uh, cafe menus for single player enthusiasts. We have three extra ones, uh, three collection Toyota 86 Honda Type R rotary engine. Uh, so a little bit more single player being added. We also have Watkins Glen being added into scapes. Now then you scroll down and there's not anything else other than thanking us for our support and hoping that we enjoy Gran Turismo 7. And that's quite an interesting note because, yes, this is a very cool update in terms of the content, a classic legendary Gran Turismo car being added back into the series, and then a very cool circuit being added into the game. So I think overall it's a cool update in terms of what they've added. At the same time, I think it is fair to say that we are looking for online fixes. The game is far from perfect particularly in the multiplayer that is an area of the game that i think we need extra updates on so many may be disappointed to not see anything on that we have just stability issues really in terms of the online multiplayer lots of players have been sort of dropping at the moment and when you have the likes of valerio gallo the current gran turismo world champion when you have people like him you know leaving the game because they don't consider it ready for esports you know then it's not a good scenario to be in so hopefully we're not too far away from plenty more fixes but this is something that will hopefully happen very soon you know let's let's not forget that gt sport from when it started compared to how it ended it's almost like a completely different game and i hope that gt7 will follow a similar pattern i suppose where it can go from somewhere where it's got some issues clearly to somewhere where it's actually you know what this is it's a really solid game it's going to be one of those things where we just kind of have to wait and it's kind of frustrating but that's just how it is with uh with gran turismo and polyphony so in terms of the content it's a great update it's a cool update um but in terms of fixes well it doesn't really fix too much just yet 
those are the things we're just gonna have to wait on at this point in time so next month we're presumably gonna get some more cars um, maybe another track who knows last month we had a couple of new cars added uh, so they're always gonna keep adding cars but I think um, many of you will be hoping like myself for some extra stability shall we say in the multiplayer just to make sure it's really working properly but yeah update 1.17 dropping thursday 23rd of june and uh, please do let me know your thoughts especially on the escudo pikes peak car and uh, watkins glen being added let me know your thoughts on that track and that car well and all the cars being added in this update and that shall be all for me thank you so much for watching i'll catch you next time goodbye